and especially like at uh, at Indy. Indy's going to be very similar. Turn one to Indy is very similar to Coda, right? Yeah. Wide racetrack, bottleneck down into nothing. Yeah. I Um, think they've moved the restart zone. They did. I I was most worried about that, joining double file restart, and you get stuck on the outside. looks like it's all over for you. So with a different position, it might be a bit better. Hopefully that change in the start finish or the restart zone moving that around yep. a little bit is going to improve things. Yeah. It's exciting to watch, but being it, <laughs> being being in it, you probably don't want to be. On That's the a outside. great point. Yeah. So as a broadcaster, um, some of that is good. Like some of I, you know, obviously you want some you know the mm. stage three to be crazy. You want that wild restart, but I think yeah. what we're say, what we saw at Coda, we don't. Too nobody much. wants. Yeah, yeah. nobody much. wants that. Do we have a <laughs> reputation to, uh, for for being idiots? Oh, not idiots, road but courses. being aggressive, yeah, for yeah. sure. Like every highlights reel you see, like the most, or the best one ever, I think, is that Watkins race with Marcus and Brad yes. and Kyle. That was, oh, so, that was, that was loose, insane. but that was amazing. But yeah. at the same time, dude, when I started watching V8 supercars back in the early 2000s, that y'all drove the same way. Similar, yeah. But now, now the, like, the contact's way down compared to yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah, like I got a little bump last week when someone – Brake tested me, propped them up, and I bumped them a little bit. And yeah. Straight away, a penalty. So it's but, completely, di- <laughs> completely listen, different. I, yeah. I, I was watching a race with you and Brody. Uh, I think it was earlier this year at Perth. Yeah, that was awesome. And, and, they, and it was insane racing. You were yeah. right on his tail. Yeah. You gave him nudge. You, there was yep. some contact, Yeah, right? and he was blocking. And that was great. But then it's like whatever mood the guy's in today he's penalizing tomorrow he's not so yeah uh, as a driver you have <laughs> no i you have no idea what no you clue. can do or not yeah. but that perth race was it's like the most watched race the best supercars race in years sick. And it was sick now they've changed it yeah how much have you talked to brody about this weekend yeah a little bit we race a lot um on the sim together and stuff and then every week in supercars and yeah he's he's gonna be really good this you weekend think? i think yeah those I, cars were good there last year we um we sort of handicapped kobayashi you and 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 brody okay and so do you you you're pretty aware of kobayashi right and his yeah. speed it's ridiculous yeah i heard his have you heard about his tests no i heard it was lights out where'd he test i don't know exactly but i heard compared to i guess i just heard that his speed was pretty ridiculous mm. so i i was i watched him in some imsa races doing the broadcast for the 24 hours a day tone and stuff and the guy's a phenomenal just very freak, fast, yeah. right yeah i think he'll be good he'll be tough yeah uh, well, I think I've, Jensen's doing it again as well, isn't it? That's so, right. Yeah, it's a few, yeah, few of us now. Yes, mm. but I think you know, you're in a great car. Kobayashi's in a really good car as well. Um, Brody's car, I think, will be good. Um, I'm not. I mean, if I, if you put the same driver in all three cars, I think you know, RCR is going to be pissed at me. But I think that that car is just a tenth or two off. Really? Okay. Yeah, the third but RC. They were, they were pretty fast there last year, weren't they? But. Yeah, but. Things are, I don't know. It's the third car. It's it's not the top car. It's not the A car. Okay. And Brody, you know, I mean, I know he's got some oval or stock car experience. It's not going to be completely far into him. Mm. And he's been running tons of sim for RCR. So yep. maybe I'm handicapped him a little hard. But I'll mm. be um, I'll be curious, I yeah. guess, as to how he'll run. And he's he doesn't take any stick, so he'll be not afraid to give it back. Oh, is that up. right? Yeah. yeah Tell yeah. us about it. Is, 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 <laughs> he'll dish it out. Oh yeah, yeah. He's not scared, so he'll be very good. He doesn't really um, I shouldn't say he doesn't care, but he's he's all in. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm curious. He'll be if, good to watch. Seems like I yeah. in my mind though, it's like that's all Australians, all New Zealand. Y'all are just <laughs> all like that. <laughs> Willpower. Yeah. 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 All of y'all are the same in terms of like. Uh, we're pretty reserved like the racing rules are so strict like you see here you see the races here it's nothing we don't get that messy yeah. i don't think yeah. it used to be oh, all right. <laughs> do, do you do you guys feel that shane's success at chicago adds pressure to the brody kosteckis and the kobayashi like do they actually now have it feels like the the, the supercar series and i and i want to ask you about supercar series but like it feels like you really elevated the supercar series just by coming over here and winning chicago right and then i wonder if <laughs> I mean, you and I, Dale, we're, we're sitting here excited about Shane being back in the race and Brody and all this. And, we, and I'm just wondering if there's pressure on all of those guys to kind of come in here because of your victory. I guess there's expectation. Like you come in and win a race, you're expected to do well at the next one. So it makes it tough, I guess, on those guys because Brody's ahead of me in the championship. So he's a good driver. He's going to be, um, you know, they'll be expecting him to do pretty well. But how we go we have no idea this track's gonna be tough like yeah the street circuit was perfect for me no one knew it i race street tracks a lot whereas here they've been here the last three years i think this race has mm-hmm. been going for 
they know uh, they got a lot more information about it it'll be, yeah. tu- it'll be tough and we only have 20 minutes of practice it's gonna be difficult mm. that's interesting yeah i you know yeah i think everybody said you know after chicago they were like yeah well, if he comes back and he runs a track that we know what well, the results will be somewhat different but yeah. to your point man i didn't even think about that like your race your practice was will, will be super limited yeah. everybody's gonna have all kinds of experience and knowledge and but I believe by the end of the race, man, I mean, you've got it all figured out. Yeah, hopefully. Racing season is underway. New customers download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code DJD. Bet $5 and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's code DJD only on DraftKings Sportsbook. How, I mean, how, how much, how big was, how broad was the swing of progression from the start of the race at Chicago to the end, right? And yeah. your speed and your ability, knowledge of the braking performance and all the things. Yeah, like I, I was quite weak in under braking mainly in qualifying. And then in the race, I just learned more and more every lap, particularly right. when it dried out. And I kind of got in a spot where I had the track to myself and just, I tried some things mm. and got better and better. Yeah. And then by the end of the race, I was fine. But it's just, there's so many little nuances about this car and trying to learn how it works. And yeah. It's a it's a pretty different tire how it works. The tire is really good compared to what we have, but it's difficult how how it works and just trying to learn. And there's yeah. no um no tire pressure rule here, so you're running the thing so low. And when you leave the pit lane on the low tires, it feels like Wall something's wrong. Around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's crazy, but you get so much performance from it. Mm. So, um, do you think you take anything from your experience here back home uh, to help you in the V8 supercar? There's a little bit of stuff like the preparation here is awesome. Like the the cars, Sim and all, the all the stuff you do during the week. You mean yeah, the simulator the stuff, driver? the preparation and the pre-race stuff. Um, the cars here are relatively simple, I guess, but all the little details matter. Like they, the what the crew chief does and all the sim, the engineering. Like it's pre, it's at a very high level here, and it's stuff like we haven't really seen before. So. My engineer in Australia, he came over with me and he learned a lot as well. So In in Chicago? Yes, yeah. Yep. So, and he was able to help a little bit with, I guess, philosophies for street mm. circuit stuff. And, you know, he would have learned some stuff as well. Is nah. he back for this weekend? No, he didn't come this no. weekend. So we he, ra- he can't really help you at Indy? <laughs> no, well, we're racing again next <laughs> week. So That's That's Who did you bring? His name's Andrew Edwards. No, so. who did you bring this time? Uh, it's just myself this time. By yourself? Yeah, and Ainsley who looks after all the social, social side of things. Yep. But yeah, just me. Um, everybody says very loosely that the next gen car in the cup series was built and based off of a lot of ideas from the supercar. Um, how, now that you, you know them both really well, uh, are they that similar? Yes and no. They're, they are in some parts with the way the chassis is, uh, so, you know, it's the same between everyone, all the components are the same and the front and rear clips. Yeah. They're pretty similar in some ways, but the weight of the car is it's 300 kilos, I think. Mm. I don't know the conversion, sorry. Yeah, but me neither. There's so much heavier. The tire's much wider and all the downforce underneath with the underbody and whereas ours is on the top with the big wings. So the way they drive and react is very different, yeah. especially because of the spool diff we have. Like our cars don't, don't turn. So you're constantly trying to get turn in them, whereas these cars, it looks like you're trying to get rear grip on exit with yeah. all the power. Right. So it's very different. But yeah, I guess... The overall concept is similar. similar. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if you like that video, like and comment below, and don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another piece of Dirty Mode Media content.